me y'all and welcome to Panthe Place Medieval Dynasty. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be your host for this episode. Those of you who already watched me on Twitch playing this game will notice that this is a little bit different than what you watched. If you watched both or all the streams, you will also notice 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 that um, I completely botched and actually the recordings I did back then were not usable at all. They were mere slideshows, not just, uh, not full videos like this. So I fiddled around with the settings, I offloaded a recording and streaming to another laptop and here I am. This is another try, this time only recording and replaying what we did on the stream. So for those of you on Twitch, this might actually have some rewatch value, at least regarding what I'm talking about. There we go, it is currently raining outside. Let's have a look in the outside and there we have the rain on out of our fur, which is of course immediately being droopy wet. We are within the last days of summer, our cabbage is planted and in the fall we will be able to Harvest it. That was the word I was looking for. This little house, so um, it's been two months since I last played the game. This little house has seen some kind, some few updates. There is an anvil here now. There is some kind of oven, which I can't... <coughs> Excuse me. Could be that I need to take my asthma medicine soon. Um, the little oven... Don't worry, it's not that strong. I just might need to take it else I will be coughing all the time that I'm talking. I have a way too hot bath right before I streamed, so um, I can't, as I said, I can't use this. I should stop wiggling around the mouse while talking to illustrate something because this might make you a bit nauseous while watching. So this is changed here. Let's take a look at the next building. It does not seem different than before. Apart from that, we have this little cottage over here, where we can have someone move in, and our cottage where we I where I just started the game. There we go. And what I need to do real quick is actually get something to eat. And to do so, I am going to. So I know that at the end of the last game of the last stream, I was really, really worried about starving, not reaching any place that I can get some food. Um, and while I tried some things, I just left the game on. I load loaded the game and just left it on. Didn't do anything. Um, and fiddled around with some settings, not the streaming stuff, but other things. And I noticed that you don't die immediately when you run out of food. Instead, your health deplenishes slowly, and it looks like about the same rate that your food deplenishes, actually. So, yeah, we are not in that much of a danger as I thought. We just need to heal, which we do when we uh, sleep, at least a bit. So right now, I'm collecting stones and sticks. One more stone, please. This is not a stone. But this should be someone, yes, someone, yeah, the stone that I can take, that is. And with that, we can do handcrafting and get some knives, which get us a little bit of money. If you don't have anything to drink, as always, fetch something now. I'm going to take a sip of water through the straw so I don't cuff it up on the keyboard. And if you have something to drink... Now's the time to take a sip as well, because hydration is important. So I know that food is very expensive. Speaking of berries, I can also harvest them if I find some and just have, have some berries, which mostly replenish drink, but also a little bit of food. There we go. <clears throat> now, whenever I say this, I'm, I'm thinking about a very specific song on Beat Saber. 
Excuse me. These red flowers are nothing. So when I said it's been two months since I last played, I meant that this safe game has been sitting around for two months. <clears throat> As I mentioned earlier, I have been playing a bit. I've had two or three recording sessions that utterly failed. And now I just decided to check if I find the old save game and there it is so I can actually do a re-recording of everything. And there is another stone. And there's things I can show you. My tummy is rumbling very very loud. I actually <clears throat> if you notice me looking around, this was me checking if there's some boars or bears that are going to attack me because I actually mistook my rumbling tummy for some wild animals that were just going to attack me. Am I actually running in the right direction? No, I'm not. And this boar is here to show me. Oh, I think... This was not a good idea. I'm, I'm running towards southwest, and I wanted to run towards the east, so I wanted to go here. Where am I? <clears throat> ah, I took the wrong turn. Well, let's head right through here. I think the axe actually does more damage than the spears. So, sounds like we should use a stone axe in the future to hunt animals, which does make actually a bit of sense, using the spears for close combat, but being so much worse than an axe. Is that something? No. So, heading east towards the bushes. Oh, there is some clay here. Of course, they could have changed the hunger thing. <coughs> if so, then I need to reload and just do the things again. Eight stones, which means I'm real quick going to do four more knives, four money, and have another sip of water. that opportunity to put some spray into my nose. Mm -hmm. yeah. This hunger goes deep, but I can already see the town where I can actually get some food, so I'm going to run over. For I am pretty hungry. tavern seems open, at least there's someone going in there. Fallybog, do you know where the tavern keeper is? I think she's just on the way here. Yeah, she's on the way here. Ah, thank god that you're here. Ma'am, I do have a very, very strong hunger and Oh, as you can see, they also implemented fruits now. So we have apples, pears, plums, we can make soups and stews. Oh, we, we could make these before also, but we will be able to also make alcohol from them and all, all that good stuff. For now, I'm going to um, check something real quick. So we have those um, plums with a nutrition value of 2, which cost 4. So basically, that's the cheapest thing that I can get, right? The cheapest as, uh, or the lowest nutrition thing that I can get, like two nutrition for four, or one nutrition for two gold. 
So then there's here the meat with gravy, which is 30 nutrition, which would be 60 gold. This is cheaper. But this, the gruel, is more expensive. I mean, if I buy 20 nutrition with plums, I only pay 40 gold. And here I pay 43, so no gruel. So this is something that I noticed. Also this year, the flatbread is very, very, very expensive. So let me just get some meat with gravy here. And first, sell the stone knives all but one. And then get some meat with gravy. Exactly two. There we go. Thank you very much. And I'm going to eat those right now. Inventory. Uh, food. Meat with gravy. Eat. And even more eat. There we go. We are still thirsty, but for that we can just go to the water. Let us check what kind of quests we do have. Oh, I just noticed something. When I look in the inventory, I see... Yeah, I see the um, hose. Is it really hose? I thought it would be pants. My, my pants, the shirt and shoes, which I'm wearing. I at first thought that I'm not wearing these, that's why I ch real quick checked. I should put these into some chest because they're just dead weight. Anywho, quests, that was what I wanted to check. It's in the journal and as we see Alvin's story is done, uh, or done for now. Unigo's story is done for now, but this one, good morning my neighbors. I need to flirt with a woman and we will see about my flirting skills here. Let us just run over. So I do know that next month, I, I always say month, I don't know why, I want to actually track that quest, thank you very much. Um, I always say month instead of season. Next season, of course, we are going to er, um, harvest, why do I say earn? Harvest a lot of cabbage. So we do want that to uh, we do want to remember that. That's so there is stamina is too low, there is no one here that there we go, there is her. She is actually very good. She has three in farming, everything else in two and one in smithing, which is actually pretty good. And before I do this, I'm going to quick save and check. So farming should yield the best results. I want to tell you something. No, that's that's not the. She does not. She she's not in the uh, area where I can flirt with her. As you can see, when I want to tell her something beautiful, lady, she says, "I don't know you well enough." So, hey, Huberta, do you have a minute? Mm, I recently got into hunting. Do you got any tips? I'm sorry, I don't know much about it though, but what would I do to get some venison so tasty? Uh, sorry, what were you talking about? Well, that, if that isn't time for another quick save. Um, do you have a minute? Um, how's the job? I hope you're doing alright. Are you mocking me? I get wet all the time around here. Well, that's the time for a quick load. Or, that was a slow load as I chose it manually. Hmm. That's the water emptied in the first 15 minutes. Half a liter of drink drunk in the first 15 minutes. One advantage about not streaming is that in between two episodes I can actually check if the recording worked <clears throat> instead of having to do an entire stream and then noticing that an entire stream worth of recordings is botched. There we go. And she is kind of... Uh, do you have a minute? 
Do you have any tips for hunting? Yes, she has. Or rather, she has not, but she it increases her score. Let's see what we can say now. She does not have the time for idle chat. So we need to wait until tomorrow. This is a shame, because last time I tried this during the stream, you might remember that it did work. So let's see about our management. <clears throat> because if we do this, then we'll get another quest. So we get our building limit. Was it already in there? Let me see. It should. Yeah. It increases our building limit and gives us a quest to build a hunting lodge. And this was basically what I did at the end of the summer in the last recording. Now I need to wait another day. Which is just too bad. But I could just make some money and have a little zip from the pond. Or rather, the river. Just don't drink any yellow water. There we go. Also, I have already checked... This map is more interesting. I can go to Baranica and check if I can do that quest. I have already checked what... Um, oh, lots of stones here. That's nice. That's already two knives. Um, <clears throat> what to sow and reap. So basically next season we will want to sow rye, which lasts over the winter and is harvestable in spring. Of course this also means that in winter we won't be able to harvest anything which in turn means we will need to make sure that we either hunt our food in winter or have enough food on stock because i do plan to get her actually also involved in our little society and have her work somewhere we need to see where we can make her work properly because she will need tools to do so. There we go, we want to head over here to Baranica, yes, and just run a little bit because we need to warm up. I think we can't harvest any berries in the summer, I think this happens in the fall. run over and see if we find more stones on our way because those make knives and knives make are currently a good way to make some money while on the road it sounded like there was someone following me stuff here. They also switched the prices around a little bit. They're trying to balance the game now, so you're not able to... Um, for example, uh, one thing that another streamer did right at the beginning, they harvested lots of berries. And they, since the game was unable to process prices lower than one gold, each berry yielded one gold and it was very very easy to get um, multiple hundreds of berries right at the beginning of the game so you could be pretty rich right at the beginning of the game so they nerfed that by simply making berries worth less than one gold and I guess making the engine handle prices that are fractions so let us see there should be a quest giver here Someone with an exclamation mark. Maybe him? Yes. A dinner. Can I help you with something? I could actually use your help. I'm thinking about expanding my fields, but there are lots of trees in the area. Could you cut 
some down for me. Sure. I can do that. Cutting down some trees? Easy enough. We will cut down 10 trees. And the game does not care where we cut them down, else we can immediately sell them. So, as the logs are pretty heavy, I should have and, uh, chosen the Trek S active quest. There we go. Two. So these quests are random. Four. I'm leaving them just like they are now, so we ca uh, so we can easily find them and finish harvesting them once we return to the quest. He's hacking through the tree. There we go. Do I need to? Ah, okay. Step back. He's pretty winded right now, but we are already at 8 of 10, and those are the last two trees. That quest and immediately regained, uh, immediately gained the spoils. Don't need to head for the quest giver to get our reward. There we go, we are already over encumbered. Just by what we're carrying right now. Let me real quick check my inventory, that was that button, and see how many spears I have. Four, perfect. So I don't need to turn those logs into spears. Rather, let me check. The spears are worth 15, the logs are worth 2. So I can turn the logs into spears, which means... Um, yeah, which means they are lighter. And they get more money, or we get more money out of them. So there's someone to trade with in here. Doesn't look like there's a trader here. There, Norbert. Hey, Norbert, we have something for you. Show me your wares. Aha. Uh -huh. Get some spears for you, freshly made. You could hunt some fine animals with those. There we go. And we're getting hungry again. Can I use that campfire for roasting? No, I can't. I guess because it's not mine. Someone is standing here, all alone. Ulrich. Okay. Interesting. This doesn't work. There we go. One. And two. And now we can take the logs. And now we can make the spears. And of course I forgot that I need to push R to make multiple. Let's 
And yes, I see that I'm getting hungry again. Okay, and let us head back and check Norbert to actually he is in that house back there. Yep. So we can sell also those spears. No, oh, there is Yoramir. Thank you. Norbert, I have some more spears for you. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. And since it's getting dark, I'm going to head home now. Because we do want to sleep in a nice comfy bed, don't we? Off to the south it is. Let's real quick make another axe. I, th I think we need for the axe we need only sticks and stones. Okay. Wait a sec. The, the axe costs ten sticks and two stones. This is five sticks and two stones. And the axe gives us thirty gold and the knife also. Yeah. So we will be doing the knife while on the road and yeah no it could have done that but for now my goal is the bed yes Ban Ban I hear you I hope you're not going to be hunted by a wolf or something yeah, we're still on the right track I love double and triple checking the south it is and there is already a little bridge that leads us over the river which means we are close to our home which should be to the right of here Let me check There is also the icon for our little town. So let us run back home because it is getting dark and mom always warned us not to be out in the dark or else the bogeyman shall come and take us away. and make a little campfire and roast some meat and then eat that roasted meat which of course does not yield that much nutrition value and there we go inventory and the roasted meat only has six nutrition value I wanted to put these into into the chest so we can yeah, let's set it that way and let us head to sleep and while I'm sleeping I am also saying goodbye for you for now we will see each other next week when it is Kitty Place or Panthe Place Medieval Dynasty. Bye bye.